Welcome back. Breaking news earlier in the program from both House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer and House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan on their investigation into allegations of influence peddling and bribery against President Biden. Joining me right now with the reaction is the New York Post columnist and Fox News contributor Miranda Devine, along with former Department of Defense Chief of Staff Cash Patel. Thanks very much for being here, both of you. Miranda, I want to kick it off with you, particularly about this information we got about Mr. Galanis. Uh, the uh, committees did an interview with him on Friday from prison, and it matched exactly with what Bobolinsky told them two weeks earlier. Your reaction? Yes, Maria, what Bobolinsky and also Devin Archer told them, this fits a pattern of uh, the sort of Biden shakedown behaviour of their foreign benefactors. Uh, Hunter Biden uh, got his father on the phone twice. Um, once we told in Brooklyn with his Russian benefactor, Elena Bacharina, who's an intimate of uh, Vladimir Putin and, interestingly, again was not sanctioned on Friday. Um, El Elena Bacharina is described uh, to his father by Hunter Biden. Hello, say hello. Uh, we're doing business with these people. Um, twice Galanis has mentioned this. Um, and also talking about golf course conversations with Joe Biden. Devin Archer and Hunter Biden, in which they do talk business um, and uh, they talk about Joe Biden going on the board of one of these Chinese entities um, after he finishes as vice president. So there's a lot to unpack there, but uh, I'm sure that the Democrats will try and downplay it because the source comes from prison. But the fact is, Hunter Biden was dealing with a lot of shady characters. A lot of them are in prison, dead, fugitives, in jail, um, you know, that's the way he, he rolled. Those were the people that he hung out with. Well, you make a good point because uh, President Biden said that he's putting all of these sanctions, 500 sanctions against Russians and uh, oligarchs, and yet here we have again Elena Baturina, uh, who is the woman who sent Hunter Biden a check for $3.5 million. Uh, this was the wife of the former mayor of Moscow. She was not part of any of those Russian sanctions on Friday, was she? Exactly. And this is, again, she's evaded sanctions. Of course they can't sanction her, because then that would look bad for Hunter Biden and thus for Joe Biden and the rest yeah. of the family. Um, and, so they'll avoid sanctioning him as far as possible, her, I mean. And, and Kash Patel, Miranda just mentioned uh, the fact that we are talking about uh, the Democrats' reaction, and that's exactly what we're getting. They're mocking this because Galanis was interviewed in prison. No, that's exactly right. Look, when it's politically convenient for informants and people that the FBI utilizes to project a political narrative, they will become the biggest hypocrites in the world. And that's extended to the informant class. The, the, the FBI political informant operation has become a political leviathan that will rear its head when it's convenient to establish a political narrative. And they've done that yet again with the arrest of this latest FBI informant. It goes back um, to Christopher Steele, but they're all connected, Maria. I want to talk more about Christopher Steele. Let's slip in a short break and come right back. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.